Alright, now that I'm not a freaking moron. Sorry about that, I actually completely forgot to actually start the damn stream. That is, uh, sad. <laughs> Anyways, hello everybody. Alright, so a lot of things to change today while we wait for the project to load up. It's gonna be pretty pretty easy thing to do. So first things first. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna try and get to today. And then we will see if we'll get there. So I went and edited this project a little bit. Quite hours on. Alright, while well, I wait for this project to load up, let's let's just have a quick gander at what we actually have. So. Alright, so, that's what we have so far, we press play, we get a frozen screen for a little while, there we go, so that's what we get, and a very big frame drop, so we get the cubes to spawn, We have a camera change. And that is basically it. So now I'm going to show you what I have. Since we have done, since, since the last stream I edited a couple of things. Alright, so this is what we have now. We have... Uh... A slew of new enemies. I'm still working on the up-down motion, so we're going to fix that today. Just do that for now. We have three different enemy types, and they will only chase you if they know where you are. So these guys will chase us, because they actually see us. But... The rest will not, because they do not see us. As you can see, they're over there. They can't see us. And thus, these guys cannot see us either. And so, voila, they don't follow us. So technically, they should be looking for a random point to go walk around in until they see you. So there go, they saw me, and they'll run towards me. That's what we're going to try and set up today. So there's a couple of changes. And by a couple, I mean a lot. There's a lot of changes. So this is our original map. I'm going to remove all these. I'm not going to remove these tasks. We're just not going to use them. So the enemy AI controller. We're going to start with that quick because that's a quick thing to fix and do. So we're going to grab that. Can you guys hear me okay? I just want to make sure. Alright. Cool. So, we should clear open up everything on this side as well. Alright. Blueprints, enemies, AI. Alright, so, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to disconnect this use blackboard. That's, that's the main thing we're going to do. We're not going to use this blackboard. So, next we're going to go and get our enemy master blueprint from over here. Just opening it up on the other side. So now that we have that, what are we going to add to this to make it more AI-ish? Well, we're going to add a component, and it's going to be called pawn sensing. Now, pawn sensing is like it's a way to literally sense a pawn. That's so weird. Alright, so... I'm just checking everything is running. 
All right, so in order for us to sense the pawn, I'm going to compile. And as you can see, this is our, these are our senses. So our primary, our primary sense is, well, we have hearing, sight, and literal sensing intervals. So a sensing interval is how many times per second they will try and find something. Sight radius, I'm going to leave it about 3,000. So they can see about 30 meters ahead. Actually, no, let's keep it at 5,000. Because it just makes sense. Then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to decrease their cone of vision to about 85%. That way you can, no, actually, let's do 75, because enemies should not be smart. So, 75%, so we can sneak up behind them, and as soon as we hear, they'll see us. Great. Now we have that. What, what, what does that do for us? Well, when we see a pawn... When we see a pawn, what do we want to do? I'm going to click grab the other project just to be sure about it. So when we see a pawn, we need to make a variable and call this is in range. This is a boolean. So I'm going to set this to true because what this variable does is this tells the game whether the AI is close enough to see the player. So this will be set to true when we actually see the player. So the next thing we need to do is get their location. And then it's easy. You just do as AI move to. This is like the easier way of doing what we were trying to do. And we're going to move to there with an acceptable radius of about 100. So about one meter, and we should be fine. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to have an event tick. And we're actually going to have like an idle script. So when we are not in range, so we need a branch. When we are not in range, nope, right, nothing there yet. All right, when we're not in range, we want to do a couple of things. So the first time, we're actually going to put a sequence here because we're going to do a few things. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to check, are we in range? This will allow us to actually walk around. Literally, just we're going to be walking around. We need another Boolean called moving. So the first thing we want to do is we want to check, are we in range? Yes. Are we moving? So if we are not in range and we are not moving, okay, then we want to get actor location, get the actor location of ourselves, the target itself. Then we want to get a random reachable point in. Mm, let's do radius, just a normal radius, and the A radius will be, let's say, a random point in 500 meters. Okay? Then what we do is, if we're not moving and we're not in range, we then AI move to, move to this destination. Fantastic. Now, while we are doing this, we want to set moving to true. And on success and fail, we want to set the moving to false. So what this is going to do is, it's literally, we just gave our AI what I was trying to do, but with, without the blackboard. This is a much, sim much more simpler AI. So let's wait for the AI to spawn. He won't see us. Okay, the AI is still using the tree for some reason. Let's do on pawn sensing. I'm just going to do a quick print string. Oh, I know the reason. I remember this problem. 
Okay, so with this nav mesh, what you want to do is you just want to move it up so it rebuilds navigation. That's all we want to do really until we get that. Let's just wait for the AIs to spawn and see us, hopefully. Is he still not moving? What is wrong with you? Let's just check that they're actually sensing us. I actually have a feeling that they're not moving because of another reason. Okay, so we're gonna actually delete this mesh. That's the Raycast mesh. You just have to delete it and then recreate it. So it rebuilds it. It was weird. I got this bug first time as well. And all I had to do was delete the mesh that did that, that, the navigation and then recreate it. And then they would start moving. But here they don't want to. Uh, I also want to change just one thing while I'm here. Is the sphere of doom. I want to make it slightly smaller. Just do one. Yeah, let's do one. Okay. Is it actually not going to move? Why is it not going to move? That is weird. So what did I do to fix this shit? Enemy AI controller. Save. File. File. I'm just going to quickly do a build. And I'm going to check out the yep tubs. Hello guys. Hey swag. TM. We're just doing a little quick rebuild of the navigation data. Because I don't remember how I actually fixed this bloody issue. All I remember is I deleted the nav mesh stuff. And we could actually do a couple other things there. Change this tile size to about 50. Let's see, will he do what I needed to do now? Are you still not gonna move? Okay, wait, one second. Let's just quickly enable something here. So, event begin play. Delete all that. Uh, okay, so on begin play, I wanna click print a string. Hello, I am an enemy. Okay, so how the enemies are going to be walking is we have we have a a script on them that controls them in a sense. So even take ah, that's actually how I can do it. I can see what the hell they do. I'm going to move the game to the other screen quick. And just watch Death Cube. So apparently it's trying to move. As you can see, it's trying to move, but it's failing, I think. No. It thinks it's moving. Yeah, but it can't get there. So this is the navigation issue. Okay, that's fine. We will delete this nav mesh bounds and this recast nav mesh and create a new one. If that happens, it's probably just easier to delete them straight off and do it again. Uh, nav mesh bounds. That's what I did. You want to just stretch this out, whatever the hell it is. Make this 3000 so we can actually see the floor. 3,000 by 3,000, I guess double that, not triple that, 9,000, yeah, there we go. Fantastic, save content, press play, and it should go now. Let's see. Spawn. What game do you want to create? 
You did make this before, see what you did different. Yeah, it was just me deleting the... Hello, I'm an enemy. So they are spawning properly. They are ta being taken control of. The thing is, what I did differently the last time was literally... I deleted the navigation mesh. And this would work. So... Okay, let's try this then. Let's do get random in navigatable radius. Let's try this instead. If this works then, I mean, sure. Why not? Because they are trying to move, but they can't seem to move, which is very strange. And they're not moving when they see me either. Um, let me do one more thing. I want to add a arrow component so we can see which way they're looking. Okay, fantastic. Now we can actually see. Interesting life. Yeah, uh, we're basically creating a third person, first person kind of shooter. So where are these, where are these guys' arrows? Let's see. Ah, oh, yes, they're hidden in-game, of course. I kind of just took a suggestion from the first live stream, and then I went with it. Okay, so that's one issue. They're spawning sideways. The easiest way to fix that is actually to turn this 90. I'm going to make a couple of duplicates so we don't just spawn one enemy at a time. Because it's a little bit slow that way. And there we go. So these okay. There we go. Yeah. So the reason I'm doing it live is that if you want to ask questions, you can. Yeah, that could be the other issues. They actually just can't move because they're not on the floor. So quickly just do this, grab all of these, pick them up, and then throw them to the floor. And I threw it on the ground. I'm going to literally just move all these to the ground quick. And I'm not going to show the navigation again. So... While we get that, I have to move these things up. Because I did notice the other day that this shit is actually... Hey, Ult Ultimate Tunes, how are ya? Are you still not going to move? Okay, you should sense me. So, let's check if they actually are sensing. One of these. Is he sensing? Okay, it's not that one. Okay, yeah, so it's definitely the navigation that's bugging out. So let's quickly re delete this and just build again. Yeah, we can make an NPC to buy ammo from as well. That's really the, the easier. Like the, ne the buying things, that's all the easy part. I want to get the AI going so that we can actually start to somehow accumulate points. Because if we can't make points, how are we going to buy things, right? Crap. So, you, you little bastard, you need to start moving. One second. Let me try and remember what I did to fix this issue. It's going to get on my tits now. Okay, put the draw sets here. Uh, go like this, like this, like this, like this. Let's see. So the tile size, five hundred. Okay, five hundred sixty. Sure, I guess six hundred. Cell height. Um, what is this one again? Size of voxelized cell. I don't know. Make it like five. Cell height, five. Agent radius. So this is the smallest agent. Will be quite small. We're gonna have like really tiny little creatures. That actually will make it 10. Agent height. So this is just average height, I guess. Or oh, this is the smallest height. So 
I'm going to also say 10. Actually, no, 10 is a little bit small. And let's do like 50 and 50. So they, they're small, but they're not that small. All right, then max height will be 500, because I want to add some giant creatures. 45 degrees. Uh, 44. All right. Okay, so this looks better. Save. Force tree build on load. Save. Build. Last time, you make the enemy jump. Yeah, no, I, I fixed that. Basically, um, the jumping thing was making it break. Um, but, yeah. Got the enemy blueprint up somewhere. Which one is this? Oh, yes, this is the old one. Well, not the old one, the one that I did. So we did reachable point on this one. So I guess let's go back to this again because if it works there, it should work here. So let's see. This should spawn some shit now. Anytime now. Okay, so it spawned three guys. See, why is this one spawning low in the ground and the rest not? Yeah, okay, so that one. Where is it? This one here. One second. Oh, shit. My bad. Drop that to the floor. That might help. Okay. Okay, okay, I see. So, that's going to be an issue. There we go. Move all this shit down. I guess I could have just grabbed the entire group instead, but oh well. Still off the ground, yes it is. Again. This shit is still off the ground, really? Alright then. Snap 50 units away. Okay, there we go. Zero. Zero, there we go. Okay, awesome, so save that. Now all of this shit also needs to move down. This one's not moving whatsoever. Oh, let's quickly zero this shit out. Zero, zero, zero. And then drag it out. Down. So then the rest I'm going to delete. Because I think that might be another thing is they're trying to spawn into the floor. And it can't do that. I actually just might make them drop down a little bit. I'm thinking maybe if we can try and do some level design today as well, that would be cool. And this is still not in the right place. Okay, hello, I am enemy. Perfect. Now... So they're spawning. I'm gonna do something. Print string here. It's gonna clutter up everything, but try to move. I just wanna see if it's trying to actually move. If it is, then perfect. If it's not, then okay, trying to move, trying to move, trying to move. So they are trying to move, but they are not succeeding. Now I'm going to print some strings here. Print string. Still moving. Done. Moving. Oh god, that's why I don't like AI. Still moving. Still moving. You see, they only do this once. So yeah, 
So this is what's happening is they're calling this, they're trying to move, but they can't seem to they can't seem to get there. Uh it's gotta get ourselves again just to make sure it's doing this properly. And these should not be Okay, fantastic. So that's that's that this is it. It should now work. Pawn sensing and just make sure everything is right here. Yeah, I don't want it to only sense players. Oh no, actually no, you only want it to sense players. Because otherwise it's gonna move to other pawns. So yeah, this is definitely a navigation issue. The map check quick. Zero warnings. Nothing wrong with this. So what is your issue? What is your issue? How to make a checkpoint? Well, checkpoints. Um, it was. It's basically it creates a saved game and it saves everything in your current map and then it carries on. Or when you load. So a checkpoint is literally the same thing as a quick save. Just check navigation one more time. Now there's two of them. Oh my greatness. Delete this. Save. This. This is going to kill me. 800 is the smallest apparently. Oh, we still need to do one more thing here, um, which is... And I spawned in the fucking floor again. Are you kidding me? What is wrong with you guys? What is going on? This is the weirdest shit ever. Okay, delete this. And press play. Let's see if this does anything. It probably won't because there's no mesh now to walk on whatsoever for them. Yeah, so it's not going to walk anyway. So what we need to do is figure out why this nav mesh bounds volume is not working. I'm going to say movable. Just let it rebuild shit. Yeah. No save game. Checkpoint to show you the distance of a certain object. Oh. Shit. I actually did that not too long ago in like a little side project of mine. How to get... Um, okay. One, one second. Let me just think. Let me think how we can do that. Alright. Let me sort out this navigation thing. Then I will... Then I, I sort of know how you can do it. And then I'll let you know. What are we at? Ten. Alright, cool. Awesome. Um, so, navigation. Something is not right. Project settings. Where is it? Why did this work earlier? Where is it? 2D is not in 2D, that's for sure. Uh, net, navigate, navigation system. Auto create navigation data. Allow client side navigation, sure. Um, agents. Okay, I remember the shift, we don't need that. Okay, save. Shift, save. Save everything. Save everything! Build. I'm gonna try and build the shit again. Hopefully it works this time. Okay, 
Doom, 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 doom. The other thing we can do is just make this like 200 big, right? And then we just have it navigate the floor section for now. Let's just simulate. And now, while we're simulating, one of these guys should want to move. Alright, let me check my other project quick, just to be sure that I'm not missing something very easy. In range, moving, false. Yeah, this looks fine to me. And... Enable drawing. Maybe that's that's the only really change that's here is that this nav cast it is also enabled. So I don't know. Why is it doing this? Yeah, it went find a player. <sighs> okay, let's try this shit again. Yeah, I have actually a very quick way to fix this. Uh save all. Then I'm going to reopen this project. Just to make sure which one is the right one. There it is. Alright, so just one second, guys. While wow, this reloads. Okay. Ugh, the initialization. Very strange, like the last time, literally all I did, I took off the navigation data, I remade it, and it worked. Maybe it's automatically trying to use the tree. No, it's not because. Hmm. Alright, if anybody has any idea what it could be, besides the fact that the navigation mesh is not working properly for some reason, let me see if this works after the restart. I'll be happy. If not, I think you maybe just upgrade the engine to 17 and see what happens. I enjoy playing around with the newest versions because. They sometimes change very hectic things. Okay. Don't restore. So now I want to simulate. I'm going to watch the little cubes. So this cube is trying to move. But it cannot. Why? Why can you not move? Make me simulate your physics. Alright, let's see, let's see, let's see. Collisions, collisions. We're looking for navigation. Just teleported, wants to crouch. There is navigation, dynamic object. Come on. Come on. Come on now, little buddy. What's this? And uh, I can't move. All right. 
There we go. So, you see that, this thing is still annoying me. Because why is it spawning in the ground? Hmm? Why would I do this? <clears throat> Try that quick. Let's just see what happens. I want to see if it actually does anything whatsoever. Definitely something to do with the navigation not being right. Ah, oh my god. What is wrong? Disconnect the sequence. Let's just do a com complete tick. Maybe that's that could be the issue. No. That's not the issue either. Uh, I want to do one more thing. The spawn manager needs to... Build that. Yeah, it's a bug. Uh, I'm using 4.16 at the moment, but it looks like it's a actual bug with the navigation mesh. Where it doesn't pick up the navigation mesh that we're using. Could be just the world settings. Doubt it very much though, but it's worth a check. No. Alright. Um... Checking for some navigation things here. Yeah. Nav movement. Oh, interesting. How big is this? 34? Okay, good to know. Let's see if this will do anything. 34. And this is like 200. 45. Third nav data, recast nav mesh. Save. Sequence has no valid image. Image. There we go. Let's see now. Yeah. So you see, it has an abstract nav data as well. That's probably trying to use. Or not? No, it's not. What about when you see me? You should move to me. Come on. I'm gonna get so pissed off. Oh, I'm so used to... I'm doing a, a website now, so I'm so used to pressing Control shift u to upload the documents. I see you, I see you, so you see, they see me, but they don't do shit about it. One sensing. Hmm. So let's change these values quickly back to negative one, negative one, negative one. Track nav dots, let's try that. So now that it's rebuilt the nav, <coughs> damn it, I have hiccups. Let's try this again. Moving ball to true. Yeah, I tried that, but the thing is, they won't move if they try. That moving boolean um, indicates whether they are actually moving or not. So you see, I can show you that they are trying to move, uh, but the navigation mesh isn't allowing them to. Uh, wait, there's actually a way to see show mm, navigation. So, what is Alt J? No, it's not. Show stat. Mm, show AI. No. 
I don't remember the button. There was like a button that lets you see this thing. So this is the navig. You see, they have a navigation, but they don't want to move in it. Yeah, so they're saying, I see you, I see you, but they don't want to move when they see me. Are they stuck? I'm going to check one thing. Movable. And the arrow. Okay, well, we know which way they're facing now, so now they're spawning in the right direction. Movable. Area class. Nav area default. That could be another issue. Nope. Okay, let's keep trying to see what's self. Uh, use controller your role of pit. Yeah, your you want to use. Um, don't want to receive the input. Hmm. Navigation can ever affect navigation. Yeah, sure. Affect the navigation. Probably get fucked up now, anyways. If we make a new mm, second, so I see you works. Hmm. Mm hmm. Let me just change this back. Normal. Put this to back. Normal. All right. Now I just need to figure out what it's trying to do, or what it's not trying to do. I guess. Uh, I build the geometry, build paths. It's the only thing I can really think of. It's got to be this navigation thing. What if we get mm, get self get navigation? And I want to print print string of this quick. I'm trying to see what it prints. Every tick. Is it trying to use itself as a navigation agent? Probably fine. Class defaults. Placed or spawned, perfect. Just use a normal AI controller, maybe. Let's try that as well. Maybe it's a bug with our code that we did. No, it's not. Because here is. Yeah, look, if I just disable this, it's still not going to move. It's trying to move. I know for a fact that it's trying to move. Uh, let's try to use a different AI move to AI. Just do move to... I know there was two at a stage. Simple move to actor. No. False. Wait, what is the... is it this? No. I'm trying to remember the key combinations for this. For the debug menu. Debug... Debug... Uh, debug... Create... 
No, I don't remember the fucking buttons. <sighs> okay. No, I see this will have to be here. The movement result. Let me click print the movement result. Print. Print string. Movement result. I don't really care when it prints it. I want just want it to print the movement result. Success, success. Success. Wait, let me try this quick. I'm gonna delete. Oh, no. Recast. No mesh is still there. It's succeeding to move because it doesn't actually have a place that it can move. Uh, nav, 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 mesh, nav, modifier, nav, mesh, bounds, move to the center. Okay, so 10k. Press play. This should work. But. Still don't wanna. So they'll spawn 11 of them. But it won't do what I needed to do, damn it. Alright, fuck it. I'm gonna leave the AIs for now. Because I'm gonna get very frustrated. So. You know, it's not going to succeed because it's still trying to move. Okay. Turn that back. I'm going to do one, one more thing. And that is... Use default area. Um, always spawn... Block input. Actually, I don't block input. So this should just go now. It should run. It should work. It should run. But it's not. So I don't know anymore. This nav mesh is not working. For example, right? So here, if I simulate, what if we make like a considerable change to the navigation? See, they'll just move around happily. Yeah, so let's try and make like a considerable change to the navigation mesh. Grab this. Maybe this will be enough to throw them off. Oh my god, I'm gonna get so pissed off. Mm. I'm gonna get so annoyed. I'm going to throw all my toys out of the cot at this stage. 
uh, request now mesh or let's just try this again. Okay, it's rebuilt it. You have to work. Like seriously, the AI is not using the correct things. Okay, I'm gonna try one thing quick. Create a character. Test that you AI. No, we don't need AI perception, we just need you have a controller. Where are you? AI controller is our enemy AI. Event graph begin play. Find act. Find actor. Find. Okay, let's get all act actors of class. Now, let's just. Put sphere of doom there and test here. So test find me a sphere of doom. Okay. Then get copy. Then get location and then move to Off. Okay. Now we just need to give him some sort of skeletal mesh. Perfect. Simulate. It's this navigation mesh. Something is not right with it. Now these guys, I want to disable them quick. Can't. I'm getting so annoyed because this is supposed to work. The shit worked earlier. Why is it now not wanting to work? Can crouch, can fly, whatever you want, just do it. Okay, fine. Find an object with a tag. Give me a tag. Let me add a tag to this thing. Tag. Find me.
Success, 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 success. You're lying. You're not succeeding because otherwise you'd be moving. Okay, delete this quick. Geometry box. I don't know, maybe it's just this. Maybe I'm just being stupid. Build. Yeah, the problem is I can't really copy the blueprint because there's a lot of things that I changed um, in stages. Well, technically not to that, but uh, it's not, it does, it's not going to change. The blueprint is not the issue. We could maybe copy the level. Let this lighting rebuild. Maybe it will do something useful for once. Okay, I'm going to just quickly copy over the level. Uh, go, 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 here. Find the right thing that it's called. It's probably third person blueprint maps. There we go. Uh, show an explorer. Yeah, that's actually a very good idea. Let's try that. I mean, it's not gonna, it doesn't hurt to try, I guess. Uh, live, right there. Live. Yeah, sure, save everything. I think these AI controllers are stuck in some sort of not the correct navigation. They, I don't know what's happening. Even that doesn't work. What the hell? Like, this is a working model. Okay, let's check this side. Maybe, maybe we're just missing something. Maybe I'm a moron. Uh, okay. So... We take a look at at this AI thing. There's nothing here. Nothing here yeah, that's changed. Path filling component auto activate. That could be something different. Auto activate. Hmm. I'm getting very annoyed. I don't like it when things do this. Like, this is supposed to work. Because we're not in range. Do I need this string anymore? Success. 
two just spawned together, and they apparently succeeded in moving to fucking nowhere. I'm gonna try and build here, asshole. Oh my god. I'm getting very annoyed right now. Okay, I'm going to try one other thing then. This is the only way I can really think of what else it could be. Is We're going to... Project settings. I'm going to make a new agent for navigation. So here we go, navigation system. And disable that. Okay, so here we go, agents, name, default, I'm gonna make it like blue or some shit. Ten by ten by twenty-five. It's a recast nav mesh. Can't crouch, can't jump, can't walk. Can swim. Great. Save that. Compile. Now, this we delete. This ah uh, supported agents default. Okay, I'm going to drop it down. Okay, so this is now the correct mesh. Build it. Get nav agent. No, fine, fuck it. Okay. Lighting build is completed. Apply it. Go back. Okay. Display. I swear. Must have better have worked. They're just standing around like idiots. Come on. Oh, it's so hot. Oh, I can't do this. Yeah, that was weird. Gonna press play and probably not see any change. Yep, oh, no change. So that didn't work either. Why? Why don't you want to do it? You damn bastard. Move, I tell you. I have a nasty feeling that... Uh, let me try this quick. Blueprints, enemies... Blueprint class AI controller. Red path. Oh, that's cool. I need to remember that. I was kind of looking for that. 
new AI controller. So now, enemy, you. New uh, controller, compile, press play. Still nothing. I'm gonna cry. I'm honestly going to cry. Try quickly something. Get control controller. Move to. I want to see if this does anything different or not. That could probably do something as well. I'm literally just trying this until it works. Oh fuck, it's finally. Okay, cool. Now that that's working. They're okay, moving around. Fan. Damn-tastic. This is finally working. You shall see now they all start moving. There they are. They're moving around. Looking for the player. Okay, so the issue was apparently that this pawn was not connected properly. It was earlier, it's not any I don't know. Whatever, I give up. That's fine, it's working. Alright, so make sure when you're using move AI2 you use the reference of self in the enemy blueprint. You say self move to and attach the pawn to the destination. Now that we have some moving AI Let's create another child, and we call this one Hunter. Hunter. So these guys are... Literally, I'm just making a couple of different enemies, so that we can get some variation going. There we go, 90 degree turn. Use the third person blueprint for animation. Our class defaults, his health will be mm, 100. I'm going to also change our where is he? death cube. His health will be pretty small, just 80. And the fear of doom will be, um, let's say, 500 because it's just, it's, it's big. So, yeah. Then we need to change one more thing. Let's get the weapon master blueprint. We need to create a function, call it reload. Now, when you reload, you want to grab your current ammo. And it's easy, you just set it to your max clip. Okay, fantastic. Save. So now that we can actually reload. Now that we can reload, we can go back to our character, controller. So, now I'm going to use R. Um as my key to reload, input, if you can't find the button, you got R, when you press it, we're going to grab our main player, the weapon, and the child, and the cast, we're just going to copy this, and then reload, as a function, when you press it, reload, great, so that's the reload done, now, I want to change one more thing here, um, what was it? What was it? Oh, yes, I remember now. When we change cameras, that's under project settings, input. I'm going to remove this because otherwise it's going to interfere. Save and press play. So now, here we go. Now they're starting to move around until they spot you. Probably add something like 
on their heads or something to show their eyes. And now they've stopped moving. They started sensing me, so I think they stopped moving for some reason. Oh yes, because it's now in range. Um, okay, so in range, then we're not moving. Um, unless you're actually moving. I want to change how good their eyes are because that's a little bit too intense for me. It's so 3000 on such a small little map. So, how do we set when we are not in range? Well, um, let's see. We need to grab pawn sensing and then check. I'm not sure if there is a function like this, but can. Let's see. Get C pawns? No. C. True performance visibility tests. Uh huh, okay. So that was right. So, here in this sequence, this is why we made a sequence. Now we need a branch. Now we need to check can we see pawns? Because if we can't see the pawn, can see. See. Okay, it's just pawns. Alright, so if we can't see pawns, then we are no longer in range. False. No longer in range. Okay, so now that that has like a little reset switch to itself, I'm going to hide here so that no AI kind of sees me. Why do they stop dead in their tracks when they see me? Yeah, so they're struggling to move towards me. So I'm going to do this and just make sure. Oops. Make sure that's actually what's happening. This death cube. Okay, let's go find this cube of death. Where is he? There he is. It's not that death cube. You need to just find the one that's seeing me. There it is. Okay, right, let's quickly remove that. This pawn moves to this destination. Okay. I need you guys to see me and then move to me. Why do you stop like dead still? I don't understand. Add that arrow again. So we can actually see what the hell they're looking at. Huh. <sighs> Target act uh, allocation move move two let's try that. And I want to print the string here, then. So I'll print string. Oh, this shit. Go Miracle! Go Miracle? Who's Miracle? No clue who Miracle is. It says aborted, 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 aborted. It's aborting? Why? Why is it aborting? It should not be aborting. Alright, that could be the reason. 
Okay, let's try this again. Aborted. Okay, that is very strange. You see, this is the problem now. That sphere is not gonna move. It's stuck in like a, a board loop. For crying out loud, what is going on with this shit? Not 5,000 tile, 50. Oh, alright, cool. I don't really play Dota, so I don't know what you're on about, man. 34. Well, actually, no, these are pretty small, so I'm gonna do like 10 uh, by 30. Max height is 5 meters. Max slope, 45, 45. Uh, yeah, sure. Merge region size 200. One. I'm literally just changing these rebuilds so that maybe we get a tighter mesh and they'll actually move where we need to move. Okay, now they're just not moving. Are you kidding me? Right? You're kidding me. Like, we just fixed this shit. <sighs> oh my god, I'm gonna have a fucking fit. Dynamic. I'm just gonna say it's dynamic. Let it use a slightly more power, but be dynamic. Nope. Doesn't do shit. Delete this, nav mesh bounds, make it smaller, press play, be dynamic. And now no movement. Alright. Yeah, so, aborted. Oh, uh, one is moving, but then he sees me. So it looks like they move now, at least, until they see you. Oh my goodness gracious. I don't want to see the navigation. So yeah, you see there. Now they're moving around at least. But yeah, he's fucking out completely. So therefore, enemy MVP. Okay. Okay. Strange that it aborts. Why does it abort? That's the fucking question. Literally, the AI is just fucking out.
Like they're literally having a fit. What's going on? Emulate. Hmm, 69. Yeah, well, now they're not going to move because navigation isn't built, but yeah. They can't move on. <sighs> they can't seem to move. Agent radius. Smallest agent will be like tiny, it'll be like 10. 800. 20. One eighty. Five hundred. Press plan. Okay. Maybe agent height, what they really want is like one I was gonna say fifty and the max height is five hundred. I don't know. Guys, I, I don't know why it's doing this. Oh, my head is killing me. You see, like right now, this nav mesh is a lot tighter, which is like perfect. If it would just fucking work here when it's wait, I know the floor, we did change the floor. Now they're just not moving, they're facing the right way, but they're not moving. Go. Go, you threat. Wait, do not take. No, that's the thing. I, it's it's not something I forgot because there's nothing, nothing really to forget. It's that one function, and it was working, and then we changed the navigation mesh parameters slightly, and then it stops working. So. At least that works. Let's see, reload. Now it can constantly be shooting. Can we hit thing, anything from this distance? Doesn't look like it. Okay, let's run. Yeah. Hey, I hit something. Okay, so. The shooting thing works. At least. So now we need to make some sort of point system. But the problem is we can't really do point system until points can actually be moving. So we actually have something to get points from. You know what I mean? Like here. 
This they can move up on. So what is it that this is all struggling with? Let's quickly load that other level we have. Hmm. Sure, save the selected shit. Alright. So... Okay, yes, that's right. We don't have a nav mesh here. Volumes. Nav mesh bounds. Okay. Fresh. All the way up. I'm gonna do it here, just in case. I wanna see what happens if you just leave it on the floor like this. successful move constantly. Okay, so this, I remember, was an issue. Start simulating, and let's see if anything actually pops up here. Come on, I need some sort of enemy. Seriously? Why is no spawning awake? Oh, uh, because they're trying to adjust for the for that thing. Yeah, okay. So this, 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 this. They all move to five. Sure, why not? Spawn something. Weird. We didn't like disable the spawning or something, did we? Now they're just not spawning. Oh my god, what else can go wrong? What else could go wrong? Okay, so, oh, okay, I see, I see the issue. They are actually spawning. But... But, they just keep falling through here. So we need to grab this. And set its mm -hmm. okay, okay. So we need to grab this and set his collisions probably be here or there. Uh, I guess yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, collision presets block all. Go. Save, press play. And apparently that doesn't happen either. Okay. Move it up. I see something actually spawning. Oh my god. Always spawn. Ignore collisions. I don't give a flying duck. There we go. There we go. Are they moving? Wait, does he see me or is he just moving randomly? No, they saw me and then he stops. 
three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So they still have the bug of me being doing some weird shit. So pawn sensing. I want to. I want to enable only sense players. I want to see what that does. Move. I keep misspelling move. Move to. Two. Right. On reference target. Okay. I wonder what this does. Let's see if this breaks the game. Uh, when one of these fuckers sees me, yeah, he's gonna break, which is expected. Self. Self. You, yourself, and I. Run in here. And then we're gonna wait to see one of these guys. So you see, they see me. And they go into an abort loop. Very frustrating. Because it just halts all the AI. Okay. What fidget spinners do to the world? Yeah, so they're just spawning too low now. Um, thinking they have big, so they're about what? So I'm gonna actually have to have 50 units up from the ground and then they'll spawn. Right? Yeah, okay, so now they're just at least running around. Oh, I missed. I wanted to jump up on this thing. Yeah, so their halt mechanic is very broken. But we're going to add something to this enemy list. Add an array element. Hunter. Great compile. So now it will spawn one of three random enemies. That will break on us. So that's great. If it's in range... If in range, move two. Yeah, this is literally everything that I have on that side. This is the way it looks now. Except I have like pawn hearing, but that's not working properly yet. Move to specific location. Is there where I can like? So this guy sees me. I mean, yeah, like he sees me. So why does he not chase me? Why are you not chasing me? Change this acceptance radius to like 50. 
And I want to change, instead of destination, I'm just going to say target factor. If that works, maybe. Okay, will I hold the cube? No, dumbass cube just runs off somewhere to the corner. I need to delete those two. They look like they're just running into each other. Okay, yeah, so they, that's because they're not, because they're sensing me and others. So they're just trying to run into each other now. Let's put that back on. Here I am, and you're stuck because you saw me. Oh, you decided to move to me. Great. Come here. Problem is now, you always know where I am. If it's not using the location, it will always come to you. Okay, so now we just need to figure out this pawn. Get actor. I guess like get location. It's the only really way we can do it. I mean, here is. Not that one. Not that one. There we go. Blueprints. Enemies. Enemy MVP. Yeah, you see here we run destination. Petal radius three hundred. So I guess oh, I guess we can try that. Um Wait, whoa, 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 hold on a minute. I didn't, oh no, wait, that was for hearing. That's why. One second. Uh... Wow, two hours of debugging. Great. Well, I mean, what happens? While we wait for this to load. Just thinking. Just thinking. What could be causing it? What if we don't set in range first? What if we What if we do that? Maybe it's just trying to get uh, is it still set to go to my location or to me? Try to disconnect. Yeah, now they stop immediately. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to attach to the pawn rather. And that's what's going to happen. Put this to 300. Pile. Alright, so now we need some sort of GUI. So, UI. So, we need a user interface, which is Blueprint, and this is main UI. UI. Open it up. Now, we need a couple of things. So, we need text field. So, anchor it there. Okay, one and one, and this is like negative one, like zero, yeah. So, 50 and 50, minus 50. This is now a text block, we're going to bind this to, we need event graph, 
event construct we need to create get player uh, get player character there we go cost to our main player character as a pure then we want to promote this to variable this is our player ref okay save compile now get takes zero we get our player reference we get weapon active get uh child actor cost to to weapon mvp as a pure then you want to get current ammo and get max ammo in the clip then you want to format form for mat text you want to have max ammo add a pin add a pin oh wait no format will be um current slash max so here is current max awesome this gets returned and that's our text then we need a, another thing on the top we need a thing called here create a binding so this we're gonna have format text this will be for 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 okay here we're going to need to get the player reference and then we need to actually blueprint character main player controller create a variable called score give this integer right now player reference get controller cost to the main player controller as a pure then get score and print the score great oh cannot find oh yes because we haven't compiled it yet don't worry compile so when we go to the enemy monster blueprint check death um this is score value then integer it is editable so we're gonna now grab our get player controller cost to the main player we're just setting up a score system quick so that's what we're doing just in case you wanted to know uh, set score to get score so you want to set the score to the current score plus or value great save compile so now we need to check our hunter is worth 10 points our death cube is worth 5 points sphere of doom is worth 50 100 points great save compile now if we press play Nothing will happen because we need to initialize our UI. So here, event graph, begin play. We set the reference. Then we want to create widget. 
Now we're going to construct the main UI, add to port, compile, and press play. So now that we have our, there we go, now we can actually see our UI. We're going to run towards this cube, destroy it, five points for us. Destroy it again, there we go, another 15. All right, now I think we also should put a, probably make a, uh, probably make a, we need to make a couple of things actually now. We need to make a crosshair. Now we have a score of 685. We also need to make a way for us to die, I'm guessing. So, Control shift s to save everything. So main UI, get designer. So this should actually be anchored to the top and then you zero it out because why wouldn't you, 0.5. Zero and fifty. Great. Location is in the center. Now we need some sort of text block on this side. Uh, there we go. There we go. Uh, alignment will be one and one. So fifty points minus fifty points there. This is health, size to content, and then we need a progress bar that is also attached there, minus 50, uh, 1 and 1, plastic, width of 500, no, that's too much, 300, uh, the difference is, here's, okay. as I show in Jaco. Okay, great, so this is now going to be our, we need to find our player controller, here we get our health, this is a float, could be an integer, but our health value is at 100, great, so health, tent, player reference, uh, it's actually our prison. Should be attached somewhere here. I mean, that's right, fine. Create a binding to our player reference. Get health. Ah. Oh, yes, because it's in the controller. So we need get controller. Mm hmm. Cost to. That's probably easier if you just cast it once and then you go on with that. But I'm doing this the lazy way. Fuck it, I'm gonna just make the controller cost as well. So, construct, get player controller, there you go. Cost to that, secure cost, promote variable. This is player controller ref. Set that, compile. This is actually going to be deleted. Um, they are here somewhere here. Get percent. Designer. Grab this. The player controller ref. Health. Great. Fantastic. Now, in this, we can actually change this once again. That will keep that score. But we don't have to do this cost every time. We can just grab our player controller. Get. Okay, so if we press play, our health is 100. 
our score is zero. Fantastic. So now, how do we actually... How do we damage our player? Well, let's do it a simple way for now, and then we'll increase it. So what we need is a... Just looking for it. For some reason, I do not see it. What do we need? What do we need? There we go. Sphere collision. So we're going to increase this sphere collision to about 200. So if... Uh, hmm. No, it's not going to be a sphere collision. It will be a block collision. Because they'll only be able to hurt us from the front. Uh, that seems like a more fair... Kind of play, I would say. So increase this. I'm going to say 50 by 150 by 200. There we go. So anything in this range will hurt. So if they touch us, it will hurt. So what do we do now? On component begin overlap. Other actor cost to player. Uh, cost to main player character. No, we need to cost to the main player controller. Um, other actor cost to main player controller. Great. Actually, right, we need to make sure that it's the player first. So, I'm going to do a branch quick if true. If this other actor equals equals our main. Uh, player character. So as the main player controller, health, set health to current health minus now da damage. Minus the damage is a float damage max. So what I want to do is I want to get a maximum value and then say random uh, float in range. This has been the maximum. Turn set the health to that. The cost succeeds, and then we continue. Now Hunter will do twenty damage. Maximum death cube will do five damage maximum, and the sphere of doom will do sixty maximum. Okay, compile. Oh, 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 one second. Our player, player controller, our health is set to 100, so our UI needs to change just a little bit. Because when we get our health, remove this binding. We need to create a binding. So we get our controller ref, get health. Then we need to divide it by 100. Because a bar, like a progress bar, can only take 0 to 1 as its value. So we're going to press play. And now we're going to run and wait for one of these guys to come and attack us. So, wait, let me quickly... I'm in the sphere of influence. Uh-huh, okay, so these are not... being fulfilled. Uh, okay. Okay, just let's see what happens if this if this is happening. Thing is, I'm scared that this is going to. Uh, it doesn't look like you can overlap us. So didn't hurt. Does box generate overlaps? That's the question. Uh, generate overlap events. 
overlap only pawn there we go okay multi-body overlap So now we need to just make sure that our player character actually can overlap the capsule. We need to make sure that it can overlap in block, block. Okay, cool. So let's try this again. Actually, wait. If it does overlap, I want it to. Close this because I just got confused. There we go. Print string. Hurting you. Okay. Press play. Ah, now I just wait. There we go. Come here, Sphere. Hurting you. So this has to constantly do it. So what we need is delay. Triggerable. Uh, call it again while it's counting. Oh shit, it's counting. No. Um, repeat. Wait, delay. Yeah, it is a delay. So there we go. Delay point two seconds. Ah, oh, shit. We need to think. Okay, yeah, no, that's fine. So it will wait 0.5 seconds before hurting us. Okay, so uh, minimum, say one, and maximum damage <coughs> is at least five here. So let's just do that. I just want to see that our I guess this is the easier way to do it. If we press play, then we go to player character. I mean, the controller. Oh, yes, that's why it's not hurting us because the character doesn't. Damn it. Uh, oh, no, it is causing the controller. Strange. Okay, so press play. Now we need main player controller. Uh, uh. Where is our health? Maybe let's make it public. File, press play. Damn it, I always press play in the wrong damn screen. Play character, play controller, there we go, help. This does work. It does update. So I guess now we just have to see. Um, play controller. Yeah, run around, run around. Until they see us, come on. And they're not hurting. So, um, there is one thing it's probably doing, is that... When they do come to us, we need to be a lot closer. So the acceptance radius should only be 50. So that they can reach with their hurting thing, right? So I'm going to say 100. Move this up just a little. Compile and save. Play. Ah, so this should hurt us. This should hurt us. Yeah, apparently it doesn't hurt us. Still. Okay. Could it be the fact that it's not on the floor? Uh, this is 88, so... Box extent is 88 times 2. And you want a 0. Oh no, this is in each direction. So, I mean, like, yeah, this should, I mean, yeah, this should just work now. 
Come on. Run to this guy. Yeah, this really should be hurting us. Uh, overlap. Overlap all. Hmm. We could just do like a ray cast in front of it as well. That's another way to do it. Um, the other way to do it as well is to actually get player controller cast to the main player controller. From its variable as player control <laughs> player controller controller ref great so now we have that saved we can now do something like this so I'm gonna make a function for this rather so there we go file so if the other actor equals equals our player uh, get player location, uh, blah, 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 main player character, then function hurt player. So inputs will be the nothing. Wait, if actually, I know, inputs will be true or false. Player. So if player. This is going to be easy if player, then you grab the controller reference, set health, true, it's going to set the health to the ref. Oh wait, health, what am I doing? Get health minus damage max. Random float in range, minimum zero, maximum that. Set the health to that, compile, and then return. Right, so we're going to compile this again. Event graph, if this is true, then you want to grab this hurt player, drag this out, make it hurt. And pass if it is the player. Target self. Let's see if this does anything now. Find me an AI to battle. There it is. There's one. Running. No? Alright, let's see. This death cube. Not this death cube, it's not that death cube, it's not this death cube, it's not that death cube. Is it not saying that this is the player? Oh wait, actually if we cast to their main character as a pure those maybe maybe that will work now we also need a delay here so delay there we go point two seconds that's perfectly fine Then I want to print a string. Print a string. Call this hurting player. Health. Shit, this actually should be. Oops. Format. No. Append. There we go. That and that. 
I'll play. Okay, so it's actually not hurting the player. Yeah, it's not hurting me. Okay, just constantly state it to the player. I want to see if it does anything. I want to know what it overlaps. Oh, there we go. It did it. But, see, now it's just... It's overlapping anything. Like a wall, or another person, and then it's like, hey, yeah, I'm hurting you now. So, yeah, that's not going to work. Okay, wait, so if we overlap subject, I'm going to grab the overlap subject. Uh, yeah, other actor. Ugh. Overlap subject and let's do it. Act for reference. Other actor. There we go. So this is the thing that's being overlapped. So it's an overlap, for example, player walking into the trigger. Great. So now if the overlap actor here we do the branch. True, then that. If that equals equals to our main player character and else not the player. Not the player, not the player, not the player. So you see, they're just overlapping with other shit. And not me. So now, even when they're overlapping with me, they still not overlapping with me. <sighs> Why is this doing this? What if we do just a normal, like, cast to main player character, and then set this shit, else fake out. So, I want to see if they cast now. If the cost fails, not the player, not the player, not the player, and me, still not the player. But what about me? I'm like in... Show collision. There, look, I'm I'm in Oh there we go now I did something. There we go. Now it seems to be hurting me. Okay, so those this can be a bit smaller. Yeah, and then I'm gonna change Alright, now, don't overlap all, overlap only pawn. No. Um. Okay, let's try this now. <coughs> jump. I like how, how high we made the jump.
not the players though, apparently. Then what am I if I'm not the player? There, now that hurts. So, why? Why does this all work? But... Not that. Like, this cube here. This has to keep on repeating, man. Okay, so we're gonna do it a different way. We're just gonna do a rate cost. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So instead of this, we're gonna do a cost. Here we go. So event tick. This is what this, this is gonna be used for. Every tick, we're gonna do a cost. Oh, uh, not a cost. It's trace because this isn't um line trace line trace. Yeah, sure. Line trace for objects. Yeah, line trace for objects. So start will be from arrow one. Get like I know, don't don't use this. I'd rather use this one. And it's only okay. Get okay location. Get the word location. Now, this way it's gonna start. Next is we need get for word vector. Okay. Times uh, by, let's say, what do you say? Uh, five meters? No, two meters. So 200 plus mm, vector plus vector plus these two vectors together and that will be the end all right so now object types we're going to make an array of horn great actors to ignore um make an array get actors get all actors of class and the class is Actually, self, self, ignore self. Uh, the draw debug for the duration. Now, out hit, I want to split the structure pin. The out hit actor equals equals. And just rather print a string first. Print string of the out hit actor. Great. So it's going to be doing it every frame. Main player character, main player character. Okay, so this is now casting onto me. Perfect, I'm surrounded for a second. So that's good. So now we can say... If this out hit actor equal equals equals to our main main player character, we then going to say delay by 0.5. So we have 0.5 seconds to get out. Once it's completed and this is true. Actually, no, this delay needs to go to the front. Uh, okay, so delay. There we go. 0.5 seconds. So if this is true, then print a string and just say true. If false, obviously do the same, but false. Great save, play. Oh my god, this is going to work. I hope this works now.
Constantly false. Okay. And then do it like this then. We need a not just a line trace, but line trace. Hmm. Multi-line trace for objects. We have all those things that we need, so it's just like this. While loop body. Oh no. For each. For each array element. Split the structure pin. Drag all that out. Um, element hit actor equals equals to that. Oh, error. One more blueprint has error. I don't believe you. Oh, right. There. 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 Oh, shoot, no. There and there. Here's a dude. All false, all false, all false. None of these ever actually count as me. <coughs> Sometimes they do, though, it seems. How can not one of these? Is equal. Right hit hit actor equal. The only thing that it can equal to is if it hits and I wanted to do something is if it's the main player character. Other than that, just print string the hit actor. Oh, wait, get class and then equals. There, this will probably work better. Um, this is main a character. So this guy is not hitting anything. There we go. True, true, true. Fantastic. Now it's working properly. So we remove that. If true, then what you want to do is, well, yeah, it's delaying by half. True. I guess we could do another delay. Tiny one. Slow down on the casting point two. And then you want to hurt the player. So we don't need this anymore. Wow. Great. Press play. Now this should start hurting us if people come nearby. Which means here comes a cube. Mm, and it's hurting us. Fantastic. It's latched on. Oh goodness. Oh my god. Ah, shit. All right, so we have a score system. We have a health system. 
we have Hmm, actually, also, because we are hurting the player, we also make a function here. Not that, no, undo that. Function, check, def. So, branch, branch, there we go, health is less or equal zero true destroy actor destroy actor there we go just try the actor. And then set input to UI only. Do not lock. Okay. Fantastic. So here we also want to check death. So what happens is, we now do our damage, and we check is the player dead, if so, so fine, it's something to kill us, it should destroy us. Come on, oh goodness, okay. I make a silly mistake. Health is less or equal to zero. Oh, it just destroys the controller, that's why. Try that again. There we go. The actor is destroyed. And we can't do anything. That's pretty awesome. That's nice. Я не хочу. So, now that we have a death system, we have a score system. Mm. I also wanted to add a parse. So, let's add let's see, text. Draw. Text will be a dot. Actually, it will be something like this. Do this. Mm. Mm. Actually, yeah, no, this is fine. That's perfect. There we go. That's our text. So, well, text, I say. Um, There we go. This will be anchored directly in the center. At 0.5 and 0.5. sized to the context and now we need to make sure that this is where it actually shoots by aligning the weapon to that spot so this is my least favorite thing to do now well this weapon really should just be like this and then it will shoot almost in the place that you need it to so when we align active, just throw weapon one in there. 
it needs to literally just go up like five degrees I think that should be okay not too much so like two and a half 2.5 try that there we go and then also we can move it about one degree no minus one degree side too much five oops minus point five I guess zero all right so we have our weapon we have our reticles so now we can actually aim and take things out directly go let's find something that will they do seem to stop moving towards you when oh god oh it killed us all right so we have a basic score thing going so i think next time because i have to actually go eat unfortunately next time we shall create the store mm, i'll think of some other things to put in there like a damage upgrade and stuff um i'm thinking maybe probably tomorrow will be another stream most likely tomorrow mm, probably around lunchtime my time so if right now for me it's nine o'clock in the afternoon mm. Oh, I live in a minus plus plus three GMT. All right, so thank you very much for joining me, and I shall see you guys soon, probably tomorrow. Depends on if I have things to do, such as work. Anyways, thank you very much. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time.
Thank you.